Now I'm going to I'm going to play a, a, a play which I might play tomorrow on the drama show, but I'm not sure if I will or not. Just to explain, I've I've been to at least one. Well, I've been to the first one of the Tech Exeter breakfast events, which is at the Innovation Hub, where the tourist information used to be, and um, I think this is going to be very interesting. Um, not just Tech Exeter meeting, which I think is always going to be the, the first Thursday of the month. That's that's the plan. Um, but also this idea of there being an, in, an innovation hub in the centre of Exeter, because it, it should make more connections as it as it goes on. And I'm I'm trying to find out more around uh, a conference about digital universities. Um, which is going to be middle of April, uh, coming up quite soon, a couple of weeks' time. Um, but I'm not, I'm, I, I, I haven't made the made the connections at this point. So there might be more about that in the May breakfast. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, may, maybe stuff will happen this during this week, but it's it's looking more likely it'll be in May. But I don't, I don't think that matters too much because this, um, this conference about digital universities might carry on later, anyway. In the, in the effect it has. John, do, do join in if, if I'm, if, if, if I just ask about anything or comment about anything because I'm, I'm just going to ramble a little bit. Right, that's all right. Because um, I don't really understand what the, how the conference works exactly. Um, it's about digital universities, not necessarily on online universities, as far as I can make it out. But there will be a listing from Times Higher Education or THE about um, online universities. I'm pretty sure it is. It is online in some sort of ranking because they do all kinds of listings of universities in different orders. Um, which is not just UK, it's glo- a global approach. And there's going to be one s- launched in December, I think. So presumably that will be mentioned quite a bit at this this event. And previously we've, we've been trying to find out a bit more about why Exeter University, but universities in general, don't invest more in online rather than buildings because Exeter keeps getting um, more and more student accommodation that that investment seems to continue and we have we have asked the question why why that carries on if if learning is moving online and looking at what happened with music retail but we've um well, I don't, John, you, you, you think because we don't get much of a response on that, we, you're not sure why we carry on asking the question. Am I making this up on your behalf? Or? No, I told you that before. You, well, yeah. Um, you can carry on asking the question. Whether you'll get an answer is... is well, well, yeah. Is, um, <laughs> that's a fair... That's a fair. Matter, but, but, but you can carry on asking the question, I'm sure. Well, Some people... Might might agree with you. Well, it just seems. I mean, I think I'm. I'm. Yeah. Whether we get whether we get an answer, uh, okay, we don't know. But I'm I'm more and more convinced it's a reasonable question. Um, the the Guardian on Monday. I mean, it was part of Easter weekend. It was first of April. But I don't think this was a joke. This one. Um, this is this is well. The headline is cuts force universities to rely on Chinese students. But I don't think that's what they were really saying. I think they were saying um, the the U- UK universities aren't properly funded at this time, and if the government keeps objecting to immigration and sees students as part of that, um, the finances are going to get very difficult. Um, you, you you can find Monday's Guardian somewhere, I expect. Um, I'm not going to read it read it all out but it it just seems to me that if um the current model's not not affordable then looking at online might be one way of reducing costs 
and allowing students to work, uh, which they probably are anyway to some extent, um, and also to, to learn new things as they as they develop careers so later on. So there's different there's different models around this. It isn't just using digital on the on the existing model, um, but this this sort of topic may come up with Tech Exeter. It may come up at the Innovation Hub um, and Radio as well, because although we can say a lot of the changes with how music is distributed or discovered have already happened. It's not stable, is it? We don't. Would you say that we know what radio is doing at the moment, John? To a point. To a point. Okay. <laughs> but um, it may yet alter in ways we haven't predicted or understood or prepared for. Quite possibly. So if um, if the innovation hub has got something to say about radio, we're quite open to that. Mm. And what's happening with education, that's another another set of issues. Anyway, because because of all of that, I've pre recorded the drama show for tomorrow and this this short play has turned up. Um so I'm going to I'm gonna play it during this show. Although the We Don't Know show is essentially factual. We don't we don't really do fiction. Is that fair to say? Generally speaking, we don't do fiction. Mm. We do say pretty much we don't know what's going on, but if we do introduce uh, something, it's probably based on fact. Mm. My, my, my colleague is agreeing with me as far as that goes. This So this play, I've been, I've been going on... Well, I've been, I've been putting it to the people who who create and promote drama in Exeter that we need both for social media and for radio uh, shorter versions of uh, performance that we can slot into radio so this is a, a good example that we've, we've, we're fitting this into a music show um, the Exeter Drama Company have sent, sent this, it's called Aftermath and it's 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 content marketing. This is an example of what they can do in six minutes on radio, but they're also doing um, a production of Edward the Second by Christopher Marlowe, and I I I can't really ask him to provide me with five minute clips out of it because um, it wouldn't it wouldn't really work, I don't think. But this approach may be may be a bit better. Um, just to, to tell you that, that that also exists. That's going to be at... Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, my, Carry on with it. my, my friend's pu- pushing, pushing other buttons over, so the um, 15th, 16th and 17th of May uh, in Alphington, church in, church in Alphington. But there's plenty of time to get more information about, about that. Uh, this is called Aftermath. I think the most important factor in being a good parent is forgiveness. 